a lone Pacific gull is winging its way down the Derwent River. It dips its dark tipped wings past a curve of headland and slides west into the Don Tricasto Channel. There, behold, at the mouth of the channel is an enormous suspension bridge as high as the Brooklyn Bridge and 227 metres longer. For the last 100 years and more, the only access to Bruny Island has been by boat or the two vehicle ferries running morning to night across the channel. Now, after four years under construction, the bridge is three months short of completion. Two roadways reaching from shore to shore come to an abrupt gap over a calm indigo sea. Hi, I'm Heather Rose. I'm very excited to share with you my new novel. It's called Bruni and it's set here in my heartland of Tasmania. Behind me is the wide expanse of the Derwent River. Up north is Hobart and all the way south is the Southern Ocean and ultimately Antarctica. And then we come round the point here at Tinderbox and this is the Don Tricasto. And across the Don Tricasto, which is the body of water between mainland Tasmania that we're standing on here and Bruny Island, in my new novel, a massive bridge has been built joining these two pieces of land. It's a political thriller, it's a satire, it's a love story, it's a family saga, and it's a novel about the new world order. Astrid Coleman, a conflict resolution specialist for the United Nations, comes home to Tasmania to help her brother, who is the Premier of Tasmania, settle down the community, who are very upset about a large infrastructure project. Astrid's father has dementia, her mother has cancer, her sister is the leader of the opposition. So the one place in this maelstrom of community outrage and family intrigue is Bruny Island, until Astrid discovers how far the government is willing to go. So in the second chapter, our heroine Astrid comes and stands here and for the very first time sees the Bruny Bridge, the bridge that is causing so much unrest in the Tasmanian community, a $2 billion bridge, and she has come home because it has just been bombed. I really hope you enjoy this novel. I hope you're entertained by it. I hope you're intrigued by it. I hope that it also makes you think.